If you're an international medical graduate doctor interested in moving to the USA, you're probably already familiar with the new ECFMG 2024 update. In this video, I'm going to tell you what happens if your country is still not accredited through this new process. Let's do this together. Hi there, Dr. Rajiv Ayer here bringing you more secrets on how you can be successful as an international medical graduate doctor. The new ECFMG process has created a lot of panic amongst international medical graduate doctors. What was supposed to be a direct recognition of a medical school of medical college by ECFMG has now become a multi-step process. What this means is the individual medical colleges in any country will be recognized by the national body of that particular country. And that national body is accredited by an organization called World Federation of Medical Education. Now this World Federation of Medical Education transmits all the data electronically to ECFMG. All the national medical agencies of every country has to be accredited by World Federation of Medical Education. Sure, many countries have already done this, Congratulations. My concern was mostly what if a country is still not accredited? What happens starting 2024? I made a phone call to UCFMG located on Market Street in Philadelphia to ask this question. They told me this new process will be rolling out actually on January 1st of 2024. But fear not. What this means is ECFMG is not going to say as of January 1, 2024, we are going to stop all the old existing process and then completely start fresh with the World Federation of Medical Education. Absolutely not. That's not what they're doing. But rather what they're doing is they're introducing this as a staged process starting January 1, 2024. Now what this means for you IMGs, if you come from a country that is already WFME accredited, you can use that process. But if you come from a country that is still not accredited, then certainly you can use the older process. They are not going to turn off the switch saying you cannot come into the USA. ECFMG recognizes that there are many thousands of IMGs that come to the USA every year and they want to help them smoothen the process and increase the quality of medical education and accreditation. This is the whole goal of that, not to create problems for IMGs. I hope this brings you some peace of mind and not stress about this. So what should you OMGs be focusing on? You should focus on getting fantastic scores on USMLE Step 2. Get a pass score on USMLE Step 1. Be ECFMG certified as soon as possible. Also complete Step 3. Focus on building your CV. Do those activities that actually will help you get to that level on your CV where you become extremely competitive and not stress about WFME accreditation. If you need our help, we have experts at IMG Secrets who offer coaching. You can always go to our website and book an appointment from there. We do a video call. We give you guidance and coaching that is so specific for your situation so you become successful in this competitive environment where there are so many people trying for a limited number of spots. But what if you are an IMG who's already finished residency? Then you can certainly explore this video where I've explained how you can come into the USA directly as an attending or a consultant physician and bypass the residency so you don't have to repeat it all over again but directly become part of the US healthcare system. Any questions, post in the comments below. I try to get back to you as soon as possible. Take care, stay safe, I will talk to you soon.